but this is a gift from Properstock and today I will show you how to convert a transaction file to QIF format and import into Quicken 2017 for Windows. We will use bank to QIF and you can download it at properstock.net. Once downloaded and installed, start bank to QIF and select a transaction file. And you can you can load QIF file, you can load Cubo file, OFX file, QFX file, and PDF file. So we will try to load a PDF file. And uh, before converting, you can review transactions. You can see the dates are correct, amount is correct, uh, all transaction details are correct. And before converting to QIF file, make sure to select accounting software that has your QIF target, correct accounting software. So in our case, we have Quicken 2017. So we need to use Quicken 2017 for Windows. And Quicken 2017 requires account name to be entered uh, as part of QIF file. So we have so let's say we need to import into a checking account and we have to enter check in here to match the account name and we have to set the account type and there's there are other settings if you need to set them usually you don't need them but if you have something like japanese or hebrew characters you may use this special settings and if you have uh, like accounting software non quicken and you need to set the date format that is non quicken uh, quicken date format is months date year with slash and apostrophe there are other like uh, microsoft money could be expecting like date months year uh, if if it's non us version so make sure to set all those settings before creating qif file and to create the QIF file, click the convert button and confirm the file name and file location and the file is created. And now when you switch to your accounting software, Quicken 2017 in this case, so we have um, we have the checking account, there's some trans there are some transactions here and we will use uh, go to file file import qif file now we have to locate this qif file we just created and we have to select all account for quicken 2017 for quicken 2018 or 19 you have to select actual, actual account so there's little different procedures depending on which account in software which quicken software you use and we click import and we have message that 17 items were imported and here are our transactions we can review them we can edit them before adding to the register or we can just accept them and here we have all transactions imported into quicken 2017 for windows from my pdf file which is bank statement thank you for watching